It was the French instrument maker Paul Gustave Fremont who discovered in around 1844 that by placing the armatures of an electric engine onto the flywheel, greater efficiency could be achieved, as components no longer had to be constantly accelerated as they did in reciprocating designs. In the years that followed, various configurations of parts were tried in the search for even greater efficiency. And by the dawn of the Edwardian era, the flywheel and the armatures were becoming one component. In 1908, two engineers from Indianapolis, Indiana, Harry Horcutt and Henry Klausman, produced a number of demonstration engines that incorporated a rotor that held a number of armatures within its structure. These armatures passed between the rods of the wound stators and thereby gained greater efficiency. The Series 2 version of the OMC4 rotative engine is based on this work. The rotor of this engine incorporates six armatures and the wound stators are activated by a six-sided cam. This design produces six power pulses per rotation the cam-operated switching system ensures that the rods of the wound stators are energised as armatures approach, move between them and switches the power off as they pass. The timing can be adjusted as the timing blade assembly is attached to a movable bracket within a fixed slide. This arrangement makes it possible to achieve minimum mechanical resistance at the cam. Further fine tuning is possible with the timing plate screw that establishes how long the timing blades are in contact. The model is supplied with a period on off switch that makes it easy to demonstrate the engine. The authentic terminals and all the other parts are in keeping with the times. This model is mounted on a classic hardwood base which conceals the battery and its connections. The OMC4 Series 2 Edwardian rotative engine works on 4.5 volts DC and is available in kit form from the old model company in England.